I'm out here at Detail Boss. These guys did my Hellcat when I was first when I first got it, and they did an amazing job on it. I will always suggest people, whether they're in Arizona or not, have your car shipped to Detail Boss because they do an amazing, amazing job. This is their new place. When I first met them, they were in a two-car garage, pretty much, and now I got this beautiful waiting room, and uh, I got to check out this new shop before. They actually did anything to it and it did not look this beautiful. <laughs> they had walls that still needed to be painted. This booth wasn't quite up yet. And uh, this gentleman right here, How's it going? he is one of the two brothers that run this place. Yep. I'm Christopher Parker, my brother is Christian. He couldn't be here today. Christian's doing work. He's, yeah. well, Plan. here messing around with me. <laughs> <laughs> but these two guys, I remember when I brought them my car, they were doing SEMA. And they had a day and a half on it, I think. Oh, yeah, 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 a day and a half. They had a day and a half to undo all the crap that I did to it. <laughs> and they got a lot of work done. And they're like, hey, guys, this thing, there's still scratches in the back. We don't like it. I'm like, guys, I, I know your time schedule. We're good. And they're like, we don't like it. <laughs> so they're very, very, very detail oriented and awesome at what they do. Obviously, I mean, look at this GTR. Funny, the owner, he is the second owner, but he didn't have to pay the depreciation. Basically, it's a brand new car. Yeah. Um, the story behind it is it was an 87-year-old guy's car. He bought the car. He only put 100 miles on it. Wow. He passed away. Oh, no. The car just sat in the garage. I think it's a 2018 or 19. Okay. And the other guy found the car for sale, and he got, like, I think, thirty or $40,000 off of the sticker price. It's basically a brand new car. Yeah. So. This is that uh, is liquid silver is what... They call it obviously matte silver. Yeah. Um, and then he brought it to us, so we did full body clear bra on it, so that way it won't get any scratches or anything. So the whole car is wrapped in a clear satin film. Awesome. Yeah. And so I know some people have asked questions about putting Ceramic Pro on a satin or matte car, and it kind of taking away from that uh, you know aesthetic of being flat or matte. And yeah. I don't know. You look at this car and. It still looks pretty satin to me. <laughs> Honestly, when people, they ask about coating matte paint, you can coat it, you just have to make sure you have the right product because mm -hmm. you don't want to make it glossy. Uh, as long as you have the right product, it basically enriches the color. It doesn't add any gloss to it, it just makes it richer. Yeah, as, as we can see, it, it gives it that wet and uh, depth yeah. look to it. And yeah. that, and, I mean, do you see anything, any spots on this car? <laughs> I, I don't think there's even a spot on the window. <laughs> That's just the level of detail, hence the name, detail boss, that these guys do. God, this car is gorgeous. Yeah, we, uh, we pulled the wheels, we coated them with Ceramic Pro, the drums, the calipers, uh, the wheel faces, so if they're, if they're clean enough, you can eat off of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at these things. Like you said, you're hosting uh, some training next week or the week after, actually. Yeah, yeah the 18th through the 20th. They're not just hoarding out all this information. They're giving it out to people <laughs> and they're teaching new yeah. detailers what to do. Yeah, introductory to paint correction. So, I mean, we started off 10 years ago and we got trained and we've just been honing our skills ever since and we just want to give back and yeah, it's, teach people what we do. You can't, you can't go wrong with spreading the love because you think you take your car to a detailer and they're going to do an amazing job. If they're taught by these guys, <laughs> That's gonna be an amazing job, you know it is. Look at this thing. Ah, oh, beautiful. This shop has come a long way, man. Like I said, I remember that wasn't here. No, These no. walls weren't painted. Yeah, it was just an empty warehouse. The floor, I, th I don't think the floor was even done yet. No. I think, I think it was later that week you were getting the floor done. It was probably just like a, it, when we came here, it was just a polished concrete. So yeah. We had to get that all diamond grinded down, and we actually had a guy do it beforehand who did a real shit job, and we ended up <laughs> losing money on that, and then we had a professional company come in and do it right. So. That's the thing. You want professionals to do a job that you want to be done right, you know? <laughs> well, Chris, man, it was great seeing you again. Yeah. Too, I appreciate you opening the shop. I mean, it's their day off, and he comes in here and says, here, come and check it out. <laughs> That's why these guys are awesome. So with that, hope you guys enjoy. This is what a real detailing shop looks like. If you take your car to a place and it doesn't look like this, you might want to turn around. All right, with that, you all have a good one. I'm out. <laughs>